Hi everybody, it's Professor Finley and here we go. It's our last official workout of spring semester 2020. So what we're gonna do today is start off with our nice blood pumping cardio warm up, get those heart rates up, get the blood circulating and really raise the core body temperature. Then we're gonna bring it down a notch and we're gonna take it into our Pilates mat segment. And today I have some really nice um, Pilates alternative exercises for you guys to try out since we emphasize traditional Pilates so much at the beginning of the week. And then as we have been doing, we're gonna finish it off with a nice stretch. All right, so everybody get your mats out. Make sure you have your resistance ball, sorry, resistance band and your flex ball or whatever you're using as a flex ball alter alternative today. And just stand with your feet parallel, shoulder distance apart. Let's open up those collarbones flatten the rib cage down against the abdominal wall and really engage the core to get started. All right, guys, we're gonna take it into just a slow, gentle, light jog. Just barely peeling and pressing those feet back into your mat. We'll start getting the upper body involved by swinging those arms. Still a lot of attention to core stability and nice deep breathing. Good, we're just gonna keep that going. Make sure you're landing softly. Feel those feet articulate into your mat. Excellent, everybody. Let's just pick it up a little bit. Bring those knees up just a tiny bit higher. Let's get those arms swinging just a little bit more. Keep breathing. Good, and then once again, we're gonna pick it up a little bit faster now. Nice deep breath. Keep that chest open. Feel the rib cage stability. Good, guys, let's take it into a little run in place now. Really starting to pick it up a little bit. Let's get those arms going. And we're breathing as usual, of course. Good, let's keep this one going just for a little longer, guys. Starting to feel the heart rate come up a little bit. Good, just tap it out, guys. Just a couple of taps. We're gonna take it into our high knee marches now to start, and let's get those arms swinging. Here we go. We're gonna take a little balance with it today. Hold those upper backs and ribs. Get those knees up nice and high. Feel the strength in the upper back. Good, let's take the heel of the hand to the inside of the knee. Get a little spinal rotation now. Get the upper body a little more involved in the process. Good, let's take the inside of the elbow to the knee. Now we're getting a little bit more spinal rotation starting to activate those obliques. Looks good, guys. Let's take go into a little hamstring curl now. So I'm flexing my feet, kicking my heels towards my seat as I press those elbows back. As I press those elbows back, I'm making sure that I'm not flaring the rib cage on the front side of my body. Big elbows, everybody. Get those upper backs working, keep those heels up. Good, just a few more, everybody. And then we'll tap it out. We're gonna go into some squats next. Let's take those feet just about shoulder distance apart, knees and toes directed forward. Send your tailbone and your sits bones out the back as you sink into those heels. And two, and three, and four. Nice length in spine, chest open five. And six, and seven, and eight. This is a little pattern we started last week. We're gonna pulse, two, three, four. Rise up to the balls of the feet, take a little balance. Six, seven, eight. So we're really engaging the core. Two, three, 
four, rise and hold, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and then up to the balls of the feet, seven, eight, back to those heels, two, three, four, rising, five, six, seven, eight, I feel like we need another set, let's squat, and reach, and two, and three, feel the length of that tail on each time, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's go back to that little pattern where we pulse. Two, three, four, core stability. Six, seven, eight, and we pulse. Two, three, four, rise and hold. Six, seven, eight, two more sets. Two, three, four, here we go. Six, whoa, seven, eight, last set. Two, three, four, and up. Six, seven, that one got me, guys, tap it out. And as we tap it out, let's start to rotate. So we're facing side, waist, on our mats. Take the leg that's closest to your screen. Step it into a little backwards lunge. And then switch. And three, you can go lower than me if you would like to. Four, just sink into those heels. Five, make sure your knee is behind your toes. And seven, and eight, let's take. Pulse, pulse, up and hold. One, two, a little one-legged hold. Pulse, two, up and hold. Last set, two, we come up and hold. Step that leg that's furthest from your screen back. And switch, and three, and four, and five, we go six, watch those upper backs, seven, and step it back, here we go, pulse, pulse, up and hold, one, two, stabilizing the supporting leg, one, two, up and hold, last one, up and hold, just tap it out guys as you return to face your screen, Let's mark some jumping jacks. Here we go. Side step. And two. Three. And four. Let's go five. And six. Nice long arms. Seven. And eight. Jumping jacks. Here we go. Keep it light. Good, just a few more guys, let's keep it going today. So be our last set. Just tap it out guys. We're gonna go into a set of our curtsy squats next. I'm gonna add on to this series just a little bit. Here we go. Step it out and squat. Two and squat, three, and squat, four, and squat. Let's go five, and six, and seven, and eight. Circling the arms, full step together, step, and then reach, circle, reach, circle, reach, and circle, and reach. Just a little step together, step. You don't need to leave the floor too far and seven and eight tap it out again guys we're gonna go into some plie squats next step it out heels just about shoulder distance apart toes directed out at about a 45 degree angle from the center of your body keep the back nice and long for this one and two and three and four Let's go five, starting to feel it in those quads. Six and seven. We're gonna hold this eighth one, we're gonna pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's return the feet to parallel. Circle and sweep those arms up overhead. 
hinge the back forward, reach to the floor, take a nice inhale breath. As you exhale, softly bend those knees, scoop the tailbone underneath, and roll and stack the spine. I feel like we need another set of that, guys. Let's rotate those feet and legs open, and again, we plie squat. And two, really open those knees each time, three. Get that work in the glutes, four. And five. And six. And seven. Holding this eighth one, here we go. We pulse, two, three, four. Open the chest, six, seven, eight. One more set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet and legs to parallel, circle and sweep those arms up. Hinge the spine forward. Take a nice big inhale breath, let the body release. Exhale, softly bend those knees. Tailbone and sits bones roll under, spine rolls up. Guys, tap it out. We're gonna involve the upper body just a little more. Facing sideways on our mats. Feet parallel, shoulder distance. Nod your chin. Roll your spine down one link at a time till your hands reach the floor. Walk it out into your beautiful push-up position. Take one push up, walk it back, soften those knees, and roll the spine up. Nod the chin, roll the spine down, reach to the floor. Walk it out. Really do a position check for me, and take one push up, walk it back, soften those knees, and roll up. Nod your chin, we have two more sets of this today, guys. We can do this. Walk it out, squeeze those glutes. Lift those abdominals as you take that single push-up. Walk it back, knees soften, and we roll up. Last one, guys, roll it down. Walk it out, feel your position, take that push-up, and walk it back, and roll it up. Let's tap it out, guys. So little tap out, looking good. Good, we're gonna take it into a little slow, light jog again, guys. Just one more little burst for that heart rate. We're gonna pick it up a little bit. And we're gonna pick it up a little bit. And pick it up a little bit. And just run it out. Keep breathing, arms, abs, ribs, collarbones, upper backs. Good guys, tap it out once again. And then just bring those feet together. Let's take some tight little arm circles. Feel the strength in your upper back. Our arms don't affect our rib cage. Good, slow, big circles. And two, and three, and four, let's go back to those small tight circles. Circling the arms forward towards your screen. Good, just a few more, hang on. Really feel the stability in the core. And then slow and big. And two, and three, and four. Back to those small tight. Circling away from your screen. See how tight you can keep to the center of your body. Good, and big and slow and two, and three, and four. Here we go, guys, last set. Small and tight, hang on tight. Feel the stability, and then big and slow. And two, and three, and four. Just take a big inhale breath, guys. Try to press it back out. Great job. Let's all come down to our mats and we'll progress into our Pilates session. All right, everybody, just taking your most comfortable neutral sitting position, whether the legs are extended or crossed or slightly folded underneath you. Just make sure, as always, that you're right up on those sits bones and that you're really feeling the length of your neutral spine position. No tension in the arms or hands. We're just gonna start off today right away with some of our deep breathing. So I'm gonna have everyone take a nice deep inhale breath through the nose 
and just simply start by pressing the air down very, very deep into the base of the lungs, feeling that sense of expansion and heaviness. And we'll hold that breath at the top for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and then completely release and exhale all of that breath back out of your lungs. Very complete exhale. Let's take that one more time. Inhaling very deeply, just pressing the air down, down deep into the lowest lobes of the lungs where you can really feed the body with that energy and that oxygen. And then exhale very completely once again through your mouth, expelling all of the air back out of your lungs. Let's go into our diaphragmatic belly breath this time, inhaling through the nose, very big. Start by pressing the air down deep and then really let it extend out through the abdominal wall, expanding and opening the belly. And then out through your teeth as you really start to deflate the belly and send the abdominal wall back towards the spine. And we'll take that one more time. Big, deep inhale, breath through the nose. Go big, go deep, really feel the belly stretch and open. And then shh, pressing it back out. See how flat you can get that abdominal wall. And then we're gonna hold it in that flattened position and take our next inhale breath into the sides and back of the rib cage, really feeling that expansion. Hold it for a moment at the top, and then out through that imaginary straw as you begin the process of narrowing the waist in from all sides, from all angles to activate that deep transversus abdominis. Once again, inhale, breath through the nose. We go big into the sides and back of the rib cage. Imagine a giant bubble or a giant balloon expanding outwards and then out through those pursed lips, drawing in on the transversus abdominis and getting that gentle lift to the pelvic floor. Going on now, nice deep lateral inhale breath that we'll use for the entire rest of our class today. Exhale through that imaginary straw as we gently tilt the chin towards the collarbones and round the back of your head, neck, and upper thoracic spine over your leg position. In this position, take another deep inhale breath. Really let the upper back open and stretch and expand with your air. And then exhale, recruit those deep core stabilizers. Once again, in this same position, inhale, feel a stretch come across the upper back, shoulder to shoulder. And then exhale, strengthening the center as you roll and stack the spine, one vertebrae at a time, all the way back up to your neutral. Take an inhale breath, with, let's start with the head. Exhale, we'll gently circle it around. Inhale, add the shoulders. Gently circle the shoulders around. Inhale, add the rib cage. Exhale, send the rib cage around. And let's take that one more time. Just gently easing that tension out of the spinal muscles, out of the rib cage, and flex the upper body forward and roll and stack the spine back up. And we'll go in the opposite direction, inhaling, just starting with the head, just gently rolling through those tight spots. Adding the shoulders, noticing any tension in the shoulder girdle. Adding the rib cage. And just because it feels so good, let's take that rib cage around one more time. And flex the spine forward and roll and stack the spine all the way up. Take your inhale breath, send those shoulders right up towards the earlobes and exhale, send them back and down and forward. And just a couple more, keep breathing. Just releasing tension from the shoulder girdle. And let's take that one more time. 
and then go in the opposite direction. Get a nice big range of motion. Really work out some of that tension. And let's take two more. And just one more. Good guys, reach for the ends of your band. And we're gonna go into a little bit of our upward downward rotation as we start to further activate the muscles of the shoulder girdle. So let's start with an inhale breath. Exhale, feel that stability, circle those arms up. And inhale, draw the elbow points behind you. And two. Let's take a little longer set today for these. And three. A little more of an upper body workout today as we go four. And let's take five. And six. Rib cage stable. And seven. And this will be our last one. Eight. Good guys, open those arms, release the band from underneath you. Let's wrap it around the bottom third of the rib cage, cross the ends of your band. We know how to hold this band at this point, out of the index finger, thumb side of your fist, take your inhale breath, and exhale, pull that band nice and wide. And two, really feeling the strength of the upper back. Three, those postural muscles right between the shoulder blades. Feel that nice opening to the chest as you get a little bit of sense of stretch through those pectoral muscles. Good. A little longer set again today. Let's take four more. And three. And two. And one. Good, guys. Go ahead and bring the band around to the front of the body. Extend those legs. They can be fully straight or they can be slightly bent depending on the flexibility of your hamstrings. Let's take the band that's in your right hand, cross it on top, and then hold the ends out of the pinky finger side of your fist. Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, rib cage stays stable, and you just pull those elbows behind you and release. Collarbones stay open the entire time. Even when you release the band, don't let the release of the band pull those shoulders forward. Stay nice and wide, shoulder to shoulder. Good, and we'll take just a few more. Getting those tricep muscles working, rear delts. And two more. And one more. Good, guys. And let's rotate down and release. And two. And three. Now we're really getting those obliques. And four. Let's take today five and six and seven and eight. Good. Do a quick little uncross and recross with the other end of the band over and we'll go back into our rotation one and two and three and four. Just a few more guys. Five, really pull that elbow back each time. Six and seven and eight and come back in. Okay, release your feet from the band. If you wanna fold your legs back in, that's fine. You can keep them extended as well. Go ahead and reach that band right up above your head, just slightly forward of your forehead. Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, remember we really pull that top fist up as we bring the bottom fist down and release. And other direction too. Nice stretching exercise, nice strengthening exercise. The band passes just right in front of the forehead. Okay, now let's make that small change and let the band pass right behind your head. And two. A little more expansive this way, but a little more hard to control. And last one. Good. A little bit of upper back strength. Here we go. One. Pulling the band open. Two. Big reach elbow to elbow. Three. And four. Good. Let's do two more of these. Five. We'll do more arm work later. And six. Good, guys. 
Draw the band forward. We're going to go back into rotation. Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, feel the spine spiral upwards, reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. And release. And two. Remember, your body is just pivoting around that center point. Three. No extension, no flexion. Four. Good, guys. And five. This will be our last one. Six. And let's pull that band open again. Just a little more upper back. And two. And three. And big elbows. And two more. And one more. And release. Great job, guys. Band draped across your left. Let's uh, face sideways on our mats. One hand behind each thigh. Make sure you created a really beautiful Pilates stance, leg position for yourselves. Take your inhale breath, exhale. Spin the pelvis back to start. Create that posterior pelvic tilt. Create that lumbar flexion and articulate your spine. One vertebrae at a time until you're in that supine position. Then we're gonna walk our heels in slightly towards our sits bones and settle into our beautiful neutral supine position, doing a very quick little body check today, making sure that we're feeling that sense of weight and connection right behind the bridge of the nose. Make sure that we have that awareness that the neck is slightly extended away from our mats. Making sure that we're getting that sense of weight and connection through the back of the rib cage and the thoracic spine. That little bit of awareness of the lumbar extension, not too big, but not flattened either that sense of heaviness and connection through the back of the sacrum and the coccyx, the knowledge that our ASIS and our pubic bone are forming a horizontal plane, that our shoulders and upper backs are beautifully wide and open, but that the front of the rib cage is gently calm and heavy. All right, guys, take an inhale breath and really take a moment to appreciate that neutral spine position. As you exhale through that imaginary straw, draw in on the transversus abdominis and get that sense of gentle lift through the pelvic floor, really stabilizing. On your next inhale breath, float the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale breath, extend them up over your head. Inhale breath, bring them back up again. Exhale, float them down. A couple more just like that, guys, before we go on. Inhale and exhale really building our awareness of that rib cage stability and float them down one more before we go on inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale we're going to take some arm circles today guys inhale to float the fingertips up towards the ceiling then with your exhale breath i want you to quickly extend your arms up over your head sweep them out to the side and down by your hips inhale up Exhale, overhead, side, and to your hips. Inhaling and exhaling. So the swift action of my arms is going to make it a little bit harder for me to stabilize. So that's what I'm working with. That's my challenge. And circle and up and circle. Let's go in the opposite direction. Float those fingertips up, guys. And then bring them down. Sweep them out to the side and up and two and three and four make the circles big really challenge yourselves five and six float the arms down guys find your flex band hold the ends out of the pinky fingers make sure you've got a nice wide grip just a little bit wider than your mat and let's go into our scissors with the resistance band take your inhale breath as you exhale, reach that right fist up over your head and pull the left fist down and release. And two. Now we've created even more instability for the rib cage to have to fight for, right? Making sure that we don't accidentally start to rotate or go into a little bit of lateral flexion. We'll lift, let those ribs flare open. Good. Let's take one more rep with each arm, pulling the right arm up overhead, lowering the left. Left arm overhead and lowering the right. Now we're going to pull the band right across the low part of the chest. One, 
reaching those fists side to side with opposition two and three where's the back of your rib cage do a little check and four two more today everybody and five and last one six okay great we've really stabilized that rib cage we can use that for the rest of our session arms back down by your sides palms facing down take an inhale breath and really create that awareness of your neutral spine position once again and then as you exhale through that imaginary straw i want you to contract your abdominals and press into your imprint as you inhale, I want you to feel that little bit of extra hollowness through the belly in this imprint position. And then exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale once again, neutral spine position. Exhale, contract those abdominals, press into imprint and get that hollow sense through the belly. Inhale, hold, and exhale, release. Okay, we're gonna use that now inhale to prepare exhale contract your abdominals hollow belly squeeze your glutes and then peel your right foot heel ball toe up to tabletop and then exhale breath left foot heel ball toe up to tabletop reach your fingertips for the ceiling and we're going to go immediately into our dead bug let's take an inhale breath to prepare as we exhale i want you to lengthen that and extend that right leg Bring your right arm up over your head, lower the left arm to your hip, and inhale up. Exhale, now we go left and up and right. Try to hold on to your imprint and left. Hollow belly feeling and right and left and right. Really feel the stability and left. One more rep each side and right and left good guys sweep your arms open to the sides palms facing down bring your knees ankles and big toes completely together and take a moment to feel the strength of your upper back as we go into spine twist supine inhale feel your imprint spine exhale really feel that strength next inhale breath Rotate from your waist, send your knees over to the right to the two o'clock mark on your imaginary clock. And then exhale, send those knees straight up. Inhale, knees over to the left to about that 10 o'clock mark. And then exhale, knees straight up. And then we go again to the right. Keep the breath going and up. And again to the left, feel the strength through the upper back. We're going to add a little challenge now. As we go to the right, I want you to extend that left leg up to the ceiling and then send the thighs and the knees over to the right. And up, bring that left leg back to tabletop, extend the right leg. And now we send the thighs and knees over to the left. And up, back to tabletop and switch over to the right so we've created a longer lever just a little bit more body right to challenge our stability and to the left and back to tabletop one more time each side guys over to the right and up and over to the left and up good guys back to tabletop sweep those arms back down by your side Take your inhale breath, bring your right foot toe ball heel into your mat. Exhale, left foot toe ball heel into your mat. Take an inhale breath, nod your chin towards your collarbones and look towards your belly button. And then exhale, bring the neck back to neutral, stare straight up. Inhale, nodding the chin. Exhale, returning to neutral. Couple more, inhaling and exhaling and last one inhaling and exhaling directly into chest lift low curl inhale nod your chin exhale peel up inhale come up a little higher exhale roll back down a couple more guys inhaling exhaling coming up a little higher and releasing inhaling exhaling 
Inhaling, really reach those fingertips. Exhale to release with our small change. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms open, fingertips behind the head. Roll back down to a, do a quick elbow check as we get ready to go into a set of 20 today. Here we go, guys. Inhale, hold. Exhale, nod, roll up. Release. And two. And three. And four. And five. Really clearing those shoulder blades from your mat each time. And eight. And nine. And 10, one more set today, guys. 10 and nine. We'll go eight and seven. Peel that back up, good. And four and three and two and one. Roll all the way back down, guys. Grab your flex band. Place the balls of your feet right into the center of your flex band. So I'm doing balls of the feet, right? I've got knees together, ankles together, and big toes together, right? The ends are coming out the thumb index finger, but if you like to wrap that band around your hand, it's my little trick, it kind of takes some of the pressure off of the hand grip, all right? And it allows you to think a little bit more about what other muscles you're engaging. So I'm in a neutral spine position. My legs are in tabletop, my feet are flexed. I'm starting with an inhale breath. My elbows are pinned down by my sides. As I exhale, I just extend and push those legs out and in and two and three. Really pushing through the backs of the legs, four. Feel the glutes engage each time, guys. Five and six and seven and eight, come in, nod your chin, curl up to your low curl position, hover your elbows, one, and two, and three, strong abdominals, four, and five, make sure those shoulder blades are off the mat, six, and seven, and eight, roll back down, guys, open your big toes, apart from each other. So we've got heels together, toes apart. I've created a little V position for my legs and feet. Pin those elbows and press out one, and two, and three, and four. The band is just floating right outside my knees. Five, and six, seven, and eight. Nod your chin, curl up, make sure the elbows are hovering. One, and two, and three. Inner thighs together each time, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Roll all the way back down, guys. Release your left foot from your band and just bring it to your mat. Okay, so now I've got the ball of my right foot. If you wanna choke up just a little bit more to allow for the fact that we only have one foot in the band now, you can go ahead and do that. My right leg's in tabletop and my right foot is flexed, right? All I'm gonna do are little heel lifts. And two, and three. Flexing and pointing my ankle, four. A little bit of work through the calf, five, and six and seven. I'm gonna keep my ankle extended and pointed for this eighth one and then push out through the ball of my foot. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Nod your chin, curl up, hover those elbows. One, and two, and three, and four, and we'll go five, and six, and seven, and a good roll back down, guys. Bicycle your the ball of your left foot into your band. When it's securely there, just release your right foot out, okay? So my left ankle is flexed right now, and all I'm doing is mobilizing and working through the ankle joint to start. 
So I'm extending and pointing that ankle and then flexing it. And two, and three, and four. Just a nice little work for the calf muscle. Five, and six, and seven. Keep the ankle extended on eight and just push out through the ball of the foot. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Here we go, last set, nod the chin, roll up, hover the elbows and press out. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, roll back down guys, good. Okay, release your left foot out of your band. Let the band come across your lap. Take a moment just to kind of release the hands and release the wrist. That was quite a bit of good gripping work there. Good, and then we're gonna to roll to our sides and come on up and go into a little bit of our back extension work. So I'm gonna, we've done this modification before. I'm gonna have you go ahead and bring your flex band up to the top of your mat where your head is gonna be so that you can easily reach for it. And then we're immediately gonna get into our prone position and go into back extension prone. Just starting the way we normally do. Arms in the goal post position. We're just gonna get right to it today. Feel your co-contraction, feel your glutes and hamstrings. Take your inhale breath. As you exhale, increase that downward pressure through the palms and through the arms. Lengthen the body even further and then start to press up into extension. Inhale, making sure we're not overworking the back of the neck. Exhale to articulate back down. Couple more guys, inhale. Exhale, down through those palms and arms. Lengthen the body and peel up. Inhale, maybe try to come up a little bit higher, but make sure you're not overextending the neck. And then exhale, roll back down. Two more, inhale and exhale. Really reach the crown of the head away from those big toes as you peel up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to roll back down. Inhale, exhale, reach and come up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll back down. Let's make an immediate arm change, guys, and take it as a two breath. So now we're going to inhale, lengthen and press up. Exhale, lower. And two. Think about the fingers that you're sending through the wall behind you. Three. Lots of strength in the upper back. Four. Let's go to eight today, guys. Five. Such important work here. Six. Beautiful open collarbones. Seven. And as we lower this eighth one, I want you to reach those arms forward. Grab onto your band. The ends are coming out of the pinky finger side of your fist. And your arms are in kind of a Y position. Capital letter Y. Okay? Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, lengthen the body, crown of the head to the tips of the toes. Start pulling that band apart with your fists. Let it skim the back of your head, your neck, your upper back. As you come up into extension, the band is going to release behind you. Inhale and exhale to float back down. A couple more just like that. Take your inhale to prepare. Exhale, start pulling those fists out to the side. Let the band skim the back of your head, your neck, and your upper back into extension. Inhale, exhale, float back down. Two more, guys. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We've done this before, guys. We're going to add some pulses. Inhale, exhale. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Pulse those fists apart from each other for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Float back down. One more set, just like that, guys. Inhaling, exhaling, pull that band right across your back. Let it release. Take an inhale, exhale. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's inhale and exhale to release. Good job, guys. Release your band. Slide your hands right to your shoulders. Bend your knees and walk yourselves back into shell stretch. Take an inhale breath. Let, really let those spinal muscles just open and release and stretch. And then exhale to roll and stack your spine. Good job, guys. It's time to go right away into the 100. So let's grab our flex balls and go just right away into the 100. Keep a little bit of flow to our class today. When we're finished with our set of 100, let's go into a really challenging set of 15 chest lift high curl. I think we can do this today, right? We've really been working on abdominal strength and this would be a wonderful way to finish the semester, okay? Ball between your knees, choosing your leg position today. All offers are on the table. I think I'm gonna do tabletop extend today. So let's uh, find our imprint, hollow out our bellies, right? So we don't wanna create that belly bulge. Push the elbows away from the earlobes. We have beautifully lengthened necks, Take an inhale, breath, exhale, nod your chin, lower your eyes, and roll up to your high curl position. Get those arms pumping clean and precise. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, 10. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 20. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 30. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 40. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 50. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 60. Stay up, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 70. Hollow belly, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, 80. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 90. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, 100. Here we go, in it for 15, guys. One, chest to thighs, two. Can you push the belly button down a little bit more? Three, and really lift those upper backs, four, and Five, reach those fingertips. Six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. We're so close, guys. Stay in it for five. Let's squeeze that ball. Four, and three, and two. Let's make this last one count, and then we roll all the way back. Ooh, we made it, guys. That was felt really good. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock your spine side to side just a couple times. Good, okay guys, and release your feet back to your mat. Let's, like I said, let's continue to build some flow into this workout today. Take your ball, place it between your knees, okay? And we're gonna get ready for some shoulder bridge work. Here we go, let's work those glutes. Walk the feet in a little bit, so you're already getting a little bit of resistance on your ball or whatever you're using as a ball today. Okay, make sure your spine is beautifully neutral. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, squeeze and pulse that ball for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Adductor work. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Continue to squeeze the ball on this tenth one, guys. Take an inhale breath. Rather than doing a pelvic curl up into our bridge position, we're just gonna squeeze our glutes and pick our hips right up into that clear bridge position. Take an inhale breath, exhale, pulse 10 more, squeezing the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take an inhale breath, exhale, lower the hips and bring them up and two, and up, and three, and up, and four, and squeeze, good, five, and up, and six, and up, think about the bridge position each time, good, and one more little pattern, let's lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, squeeze the ball, two, three, four, hips go down, and up, and down, and up, squeeze the ball, two, three, four, hips down, up, 
down, up, squeeze, two, three, four, hips down and up and down and up and squeeze, two, three, continue to squeeze on this fourth one, little tuck squeeze lifts of those hips, one, two, three, feel the hip bones come up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let's go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, new pattern guys, let's lower the hips, lift the hips, lower the hips, lift the hips, squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, tuck your hips, tuck your hips, down, up, and down, up, and squeeze, and squeeze, and tuck, and tuck, and down, up, and down, up, and squeeze, squeeze, tuck, tuck, two more sets, down and up, squeeze, squeeze, tuck, tuck, last set, here we go, down and up, squeeze, squeeze, tuck, tuck and hold, isometric hold for 10, really feel your bridge, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, breath, exhale, just set those hips right down, Take your ball, guys, place it off to the side, and one more time, hug your knees in towards your chest. Good, and just rock the spine side to side. Good, and let's roll towards our screens, and come on up. I've got a nice little stretch for your glutes coming up. All right, everybody, we're gonna use the flex ball for this next series as well. All right, this is a great ab series, it kind of um, gets the uh, all layers of your abdominal muscles, really works the transversus abdominis and obliques, gets the upper fibers of the rectus abdominis, and the second section of it's gonna really work the lower fibers of rectus abdominis. So what I'm gonna have you do is take your Pilates stance, and I'm going to have you take the uh, your flex ball and place it right behind your belly button. And you're gonna start by reclining on that ball. I'm holding on behind my thighs, right, to really get my spine in that beautiful C curve position. As you're doing that, try not to let your shoulders hunch up towards your earlobes. Shoulders down and back, and your belly button is actually pressing so deep that your belly button feels like it's pressing back through your spine right into that ball underneath you. I'm just gonna have you keep your eyes straight forward. Right? And you're going to release your right hand just right over your knee and then your left hand just right over your knee. Just let your hands hover. And I'm just going to have you breathe normally as I count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold that on and kind of regroup. Come up a little bit higher. Press the belly button down a little bit lower. Release the hands right over the knees once again, and you're just going to take little pulses. One, two, three, four, five. Belly button getting deeper. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold back on. Give yourself just a moment to regroup. Cross your right forearm right across your chest, fingers to shoulders, and then left over to the right, and just hold. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold back on. Give your body just a moment to recover and regroup. Make sure you haven't fallen back too far. Chest nice and high. Release the hands across the chest once again. And we pulse. Two, three, four. Belly button deepening. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Hold back on. Deep breath. Regroup. Let's take that right arm right up by your ear. Send it right up towards the ceiling. And the left. And we hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold back on. Take just a moment to regroup. Send those arms up once again. And here we go. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold back on. 
Take a couple of deep breaths. Let the body recover and regroup. Take the right set of fingertips right behind your head. And then left right behind your head and hold. Two, three, four. Belly button deep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach for those legs. This is our last set, guys. Big deep breath, regroup, press the belly button down into your ball, release the fingers to the backs of your heads once again, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold back on. Okay, we've got a little more to go, guys. It's a nice long one. Roll the ball back just a little bit to just below your shoulder blades. And you're going to bring your elbows and pin your elbows right underneath your shoulders, right down into your mat. And I like to make little fists for this one. Then I'm all, all I'm going to have you do is press the belly button down deep, squeeze the glutes, and pick the hips up off your mat and place them back down. Belly button glutes up and down. The belly button gets deeper as the hips lift. So we're creating lumbar flexion and that great posterior pelvic tilt each time. Remember to squeeze the glutes each time. Don't be bypass those glutes. And squeeze. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And we're going to hold this tenth one. Keep the hips lifted. And just a little tuck and squeeze to those hips for 20. One, two, three, four. Five, lower abs firing, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take a little pattern. Let's lower the hips, scoop and lift, lower, scoop and lift, and tuck, squeeze for one, two, three, four. So we'll go lower and lift and lower and lift, tuck, squeeze, two, three, four, and we lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, tuck, squeeze, two, let's do two more sets, and lower, lift, lower, lift, tuck, squeeze, two, three, four, last set, and lift, lower, lift, tuck, squeeze, two, three, four, set your hips down, guys, to release out of this one, what I like to do, is extend my legs and just let my thoracic spine extend right over that ball, releasing those abdominals. Take a couple of deep breaths and then just gently and carefully roll towards your screen to roll off your ball and come on up. Okay, guys. I didn't do a lot of back extension exercise earlier. And that was on purpose. I'm going to teach you what I think for a lot of you may be a new exercise. I wasn't able to give it earlier this semester, so I'm gonna give it to you now. And it's a Pilates-based exercise called pretzel. We're just gonna do a short set. It's sort of a love it or hate it um, exercise, so see what you think. Okay, everybody remembers what the front leg needs to look like in um, pigeon pose, right? When we do our stretch later on. That's what your front leg, the legs closest to your mat. My shin is just lined up with the front edge of my mat and my knee, this knee is just a little bit wider than my shoulder. The opposite leg, if you imagine you've got a giant tree trunk or telephone pole or something like that right behind your back, that back leg is wrapping that direction around that imaginary tree trunk or telephone pole, right? My chest is forward, but it's lifted, right? My arms are separated. I like to turn um, my fingers in a little bit towards each other. I find that it puts my uh, back in a slightly better place. The idea is to really hold on to the torso in this position, all right? I'm gonna have you flex your back foot, and all we're gonna do to start this exercise, right, is engage that glute, right? That and we're gonna lift that leg up and place it down. And two, and three. Little glute engagement, here we go. Four, and five, and six. Only two more, guys. Seven, 
and lift hold at eight. Now you're gonna wrap it that way around your imaginary tree trunk, wrapping that like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do a little pattern, you guessed it. We're gonna lift the leg, lift the leg, wrap the leg, wrap the leg, lift, lift. So the leg never touches the floor. It lifts and pulses up and then wraps around the back. Lift, lift, wrap, wrap. Two more sets. And wrap, wrap, lift, lift, wrap, wrap. Right? Now, I want you to lengthen it. It's like you're trying to put a footprint on the wall behind you. And then bend that leg in. And two, and three, and four. Little kicks to the back. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's do two more. Nine and 10. Sweep that leg around right out to the side. We're going to take a little release as we reach over to the side and then rotate your spine. Send your belly button down to the top of your thigh and then rotate open once again. Circle the arm up. Take that leg that you extended and just place it over. We're going to do just a little hip release here. Good, and then come all the way back up, and we're actually ready to go to the other side. So you can kind of tell, that was just a short set, you can kind of tell why this is a love-hate kind of exercise. It really gets those glutes, but it's really hard. Okay, so now I have my opposite leg in front. It looks like the front half of my pigeon pose. I've taken my back leg and wrapped it around my imaginary tree trunk that's right behind me. So it's just wrapping and circling in that direction. Back leg is bent. Okay, I've come forward with my chest, but I'm not letting my chest sink. That can be the tendency. I'm keeping my chest lifted and presented forward. Okay, wide arms, elbows bent, fingers turn slightly in. I'm gonna lift that back leg, flex that back foot, lift the leg and bring it up, and set it back down. And two, and three. It doesn't have to go far. Four, we're talking an inch or two. Five, and six, and seven. Last one. We're going to lift and hold it and wrap it around our tree trunk behind us. One, two, three. You can see my leg moving that way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Little pattern. Lift the leg, lift the leg, wrap, wrap. My back leg does not touch the floor. Lift, lift, wrap, wrap. Lift, lift, wrap, two more sets. Lift, lift, wrap, wrap, last set. And wrap, wrap. Now it's like I'm kind of trying to punch the wall behind me. And two, lengthening and then bending that leg. Three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you made it. Just sweep that leg around. Here goes my ball. Sweep that leg around and we'll laterally flex the spine over to the side and then rotate the chest and belly button down towards the thigh and then rotate back open. Circle the arm open and then just cross that foot over and get a nice little hip release. Great job, guys. All right, everyone, we're going to finish today with just a short set of standing arms. So why doesn't everyone just grab their band? Come on up. We're actually going to start standing on our band today. So let's step both feet into that band. Walk just right into the center. Okay, and then I'm holding the ends out of the pinky finger side. I'm kind of holding it up to the top of this, the very ends of my band, all right? So I'm just gonna, it's almost like you're pulling a zipper right up the center of your body. We're gonna zip it up one, and two, and three, and four, and we'll go five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, let's add those pulses. One, two, three. And two, two, three. 
and three, two, three, and four, two, three, last set, here we go, five, two, three, good job guys, go ahead and just step one foot out of your band, stagger it back, both knees bent, both legs parallel, take both ends of your band, wrap it around your hand if you'd like to, place the opposite hand right at the top of your thigh, Come forward with your body, just about a 45 degree angle. Shoulders and hips are square. Take your inhale breath as you exhale, pull that elbow back and release. And two, and three, and four, and let's go five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10 with those pulses. One, two, three. And two, two, three. We'll go three, two, three. And four, two, three. And five, two, three. Same side of the body, guys. Lengthen and stretch your back leg. Go into more of a lunge position. Remember how we make our handle. We go from the thumb across the palm of the hand to the pinky finger and release the band. And then we go from the pinky finger across the palm to the thumb and we grab and we're ready for our bicep curls. Here we go, one and two and three, four and five and six and seven and we'll go eight and nine and ten have to add those pulses one two three release two two three and three two three and four two three last set we'll go five two three and we release step out of your band guys put the opposite foot right in the center of the band Hold both ends in that opposite hand. Wrap it around your hand if you would like to. Both legs are bent, actually, for this one. Soften both knees. Bring the opposite hand to the top of the thigh. Square off those shoulders. Here we go. One. Use that breath. Two. Exhaling. Three. And four. Core stable. Five. And six. And seven. And eight and nine and ten with those pulses reach two three and two two three collarbones open three two three and four two three here we go we've got it five two three bicep curls okay here we go i'm going from my thumb to my pinky finger and my pinky finger my thumb, I've got that nice little handle, and I stretch my back leg and pull that band up one. Elbow point, staying still in space two. So it's just my forearm and my fist pulling that band up. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and let's add those pulses. One, two, three, feeling that strength. Two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three, and five, two, three, and release completely, guys. Good, come all the way down to your mat. Sit in your favorite neutral position. Let's go right into triceps. So let's take the one end of the band in the right hand, bring it right up over our heads. Remember for this exercise, the end is coming out of the pinky finger side. Reach the opposite hand right behind your back. My palm is facing towards the wall behind me. My thumb is pointing up and then I grab the band right between my shoulder blades. Take your inhale breath. Exhale, one and two and three. And we'll go four, five, and six, and seven, let's go eight, and nine, and 
and 10. Let's pull down now for 10. And nine, like you're punching the floor. Eight and seven. We'll go six and five and four. Four, very stable. Three more. Two and one. Up for five now. Five and four. Getting a little bit of that burn. Three and two. One. Let's pull down for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Let's go up for two now. One, two, down for two. One, for two, and two. Now up and down, up, and down, and up, and down. Quick release, guys. Take that elbow in your hand. I've got a bigger stretch coming up. And release, and let's go right on to the other side. Okay, now we're holding it in our left fist. Hands coming out of the pinky finger. Take the opposite hand, grab it right between your shoulder blades. And we go one, and two, three, four, feel that strength, guys. Five, and six, and seven, eight, and nine, and 10, and we pull down and two, and three, and four, let's go five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten, up for five, feeling that concentric and then the eccentric, and two, and three, that slow resisted return, four, and five, and down for five, and four, three, two, last one, up for two now, one, and two, down for two, one, and two, up and down, let's go up, reach, and down, and up, and down, let your band go, guys, take that elbow in your hand, just a little stretch, we've got more coming up, and release. Okay guys, great Pilates session. We're ready to go on. All right everybody, we're gonna finish up today with just a nice light short stretch. All right, so everyone just get into a nice comfortable neutral sitting position. Make sure you're right up on top of your sits bones with a lengthened neutral spine. Take a nice deep inhale, breath through your nose. Go deep with your air, press it deep into your lungs and actually let your belly muscles relax and release with your breath. And then let's press that air back out. Feel the abdominal wall flatten towards your spine. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, breath nice and big through the nose. Send the air down deep and then let it release those abdominal muscles. Just feel them stretch and extend outwards. And then Nice deep exhale breath to feel the belly deflate and the abdominal wall flatten. Let's take the head nice and gently over to the right as you inhale. Exhale, just ease that head right around, releasing the neck muscles. Take another inhale breath. Let's add the shoulders and the very upper back this time. Take another inhale breath. And now let's circle from the waist all the way around and take that one more time just letting the little muscles right through the rib cage and right along the spine release and relax and then flex the spine forward and roll and stack it back up to your beautiful neutral position let's go in the opposite direction just inhaling and exhaling try not to force anything be gentle with yourselves, add your shoulders. Add your rib cage. And take the rib cage around just one more time, easing those muscles in the waist. They work really hard for us today. And then flex the spine forward and roll and stack it up to the top. Take an inhale breath and bring your shoulders up towards your ears. And then as you exhale, draw them back and down and 
forward. Let's take that just a couple more times. And one more time in that same direction. And now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Send those shoulders up, forward and down and back. Just easing the shoulder girdle, getting that nice stretch. Let's circle one more time. Good, all right. Just tilt your head directly over to the right. Reach the heel of your left hand away from your earlobe, creating that space. And let's just circle the wrist just a couple of times towards the wall behind you. Good, and then circle just forward just a couple of times. And then just continue to flex the wrist away from the ear. Breathe deeply. And come on up and we'll take that to the opposite side. Head over to the left this time. Flex the heel of the hand away from the earlobe. Make it a little bit of that fuzzy feeling down that side of the body. And just circle the wrist towards the back. And circle it forward. Reaching the heel of the hand away from the earlobe one more time. And up. Let's go ahead and take your elbow. Right, just bring it right across the body. You can get a nice stretch through the rear deltoid and through the scapula. Okay, that same elbow now. Just bring it right behind your head. We're gonna go into a little tricep stretch. Let's pitch the body forward slightly. Rotate and continue to feel that stretch right through those latissimus muscles and triceps. And then up and release. And we'll take that to the opposite side. So just bringing that elbow across. Try not to bring your shoulder forward with your arm. Shoulder kind of back, arm across the chest. Good, all right, same elbow. Little tricep latissimus stretch. We'll pitch the body forward, rotate it slightly to increase that stretch. And release all the way. Excellent, guys. Let's go into child's pose. Bring our big toes together. Open our knees slightly into that V position. Just rest the belly right on the thighs. And really reach your fingertips as far away from your toes and your tailbone as you can. And then slide your left hand for me right to your shoulder and continue to reach the right finger, sorry, left hand to your left shoulder. Right fingers are reaching and then they're gonna crawl right across your mat towards the left so you get that nice big stretch now. Now I'm really feeling the latissimus muscle stretch. Good. And then just creepy crawl those fingers back. Slide your right hand in towards your right shoulder and lengthen that left arm out. Continue to reach through the left fingertips and then walk your left fingertips over to the right side of your mat. Getting a little bit of lateral flexion in the spine and a really nice stretch all the way across that lateral chain of muscles. And then just bring it back and slide both hands in towards your shoulders. And we're gonna go into our quadruped position and take just a little bit of cat and cow. So I'm gonna have you take an inhale breath to prepare. And as you exhale, really draw that belly button up through your spine, direct it towards the ceiling. Tailbone and sits bones come down, so does the crown of your head. And then inhale, we're gonna press the belly button down and lift the tailbone, sits bones, and gently lift the crown of the head. And then we go back into our scared Halloween cat and return to our cow position. And reaching the belly button up, 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 getting that nice spine stretch. And then that nice release to the pelvis. Good guys, come back to neutral. Walk your hands away from your shoulders just a little bit. So just forward of your shoulders. And let's go into some hip rolls. So we're gonna take those hips forward and then really press your hip towards your screen. Send your tailbone and sits bones back and around. And let's just take a couple more. Just really trying to release those hips. And two more. And one more in that same direction. Return to center and we'll go in the opposite direction. And around, oh, feels good to open those hips. And we'll take two more. And one more. Good guys, walk the hands in slightly. 
tuck your toes, curl your toes under, and just press yourself right back into your downward dog position or pyramid stretch. Really send the tailbone up, send those sits bones up, and let your chest drop through your arms. Just extend through your arms. Slightly bend that right knee and see if you can send that right sit bone just a little bit higher. And left, and right, and left. And then stretch both legs and kind of deepen your stretch. Make sure you're breathing deeply, okay? I'm um, having press into the sole of your left foot. Release and extend that right leg up. Feel that stretch. And then just snake it right through. We're gonna go right into our, what I call our runner stretch. Shoulders square, hip bones square. And just really let the pelvis sink down towards your mat as you begin to stretch the hip flexor and the psoas. Put your belly buttons up. Option to extend your fingertips towards the ceiling and send your chest and neck and face up towards the ceiling. So think about going up to extend back. And then just come back. Breathe into the stretch one more time. And then bring your hands to your mat either side of your foot and go directly into your pigeon pose, your version of pigeon pose. And just take a moment to feel that position. Really feel the outside of that hip open. Option to fold forward to increase your stretch. Breathing deeply. Good, if you chose to fold forward, come back up. Just take a moment to breathe into that stretch, really feel the length of that back leg. And then rotate to face your screen. The leg that was in front in pigeon pose is going to be on the bottom as we go into stacked leg pose. So I'm just making sure that one leg is stacked directly over the other leg. My feet are flexed. And really, I'm just trying to find my sits bones. For those of you with that increased flexibility, you can go ahead and walk your hands forward, fold your torso over your legs. Get that increased stretch if you'd like to. Just make sure you're continuing to breathe deeply. And if you chose to fold forward, go ahead and come on up. And let's go into stacked knee pose. Right, find your sits bones. Make sure when you look down at your shins that they're going directly out from your knees. Your heels are not pulled back towards your hips. And let's go into a little bit of lateral flexion. And this is going to increase that stretch across the hip and through the obliques as well. Good. And one more. And then come all the way. Okay, now we're going to pull that bottom heel in towards the hip. The top foot is just flat on my mat, directly in front of my knee. And we're going to go into a little bit of sitting spinal rotation. Going to give that back a nice stretch. And then come all the way back. Let's take that to the other side, guys. Find your quadruped position. Okay, and just curl those toes under. And back into your downward facing dog. See if you can find a little increase. Good, all right. And slight bend in that left knee. And all right. Really releasing the hips. And once again. And then stretch through both legs. Breathing into it, nice long spines. Press down through that right foot and release that left leg. And just take a moment to feel that nice stretch and then snake that leg through, and we go into our runner's pose. Nice and heavy through the pelvis. We asked a lot of our pelvis today. Gotta give it some love. Let those hips sink down, get that nice stretch. Option to send the fingertips up towards the ceiling, and send the chest up, and then back. Ooh, that increase feels so good today. Good, and recover, hands back to the knee. A couple more deep breaths. And then reach for your mat, and let's transition into pigeon pose. All right, just squaring off the shoulders, squaring off the hips, drawing up through the belly button. 
And then if you would like to, go ahead and fold forward. It's nice and heavy if you fold forward. Just feel the torso kind of melt. Try not to hold any unnecessary tension there. And then walk back up. We'll continue to hold just for a moment as we take another couple of deep breaths. And then rotate towards your screen. Okay, so once again, my leg that was in front in pigeon pose becomes my bottom leg in stacked leg pose. All right, one side can feel completely different from the other side. Don't worry if you're noticing that. I'm certainly noticing that on my body. We're just finding our six bones. For those of you that would like that little increase, go ahead and fold forward. Again, when you fold forward, if you choose to do so, body just nice and heavy, that sense of melting and breathing, of course. Okay, and if you went forward, go ahead and come back up and let's transition into stacked knee pose. Okay, just go glance down at your legs, make sure that you're seeing those tibias and fibias straight out from the knees, feet are flexed. And let's go into some lateral flexion to increase that stretch of the hips. So we'll reach and over. Good. And and one more time. Nice and deep stretch in the glute. And uh, good guys. Okay. Bring that bottom heel in. Top foot flat on your mat, a little seat, sitting spinal rotation. Sometimes you get a little pop in the spine from this one. Not that you're trying to do that, don't force anything. Good guys, and rotate back. Okay, go ahead and grab your uh, flex band. We're gonna do a little bit of IT band work. So I'm gonna start by putting the arch of my right foot into my band, right? And then I'm gonna roll myself gently back, okay? One leg lengthened. So I'm going to wrap the band around my hand so I get a little bit more leverage. And we did this one last week. I want you to press down through the back of your right hip as you really feel like you're extending and reaching that right heel up towards the ceiling. So I'm getting a nice little fuzzy two way stretch right across the back of my leg. It feels really good. Now I'm gonna transfer both ends over to my left hand and reach my right arm out to the side, palm facing down. Let's start with an inhale breath so we can use our breathing for this one. As you exhale, keep the back of your right hip pressed down through your mouth and just take your leg gently across the midline of your body. And then send it straight back up. Let's take that again. So we'll exhale, cross the midline and inhale to come up. Now you're going to let that right hip roll away from your mat, okay? And take it across and let that right hip kind of roll up and away. You're just gonna take your leg, it'll, it'll find its own stopping place and you'll, you'll know where that is on your body. You're gonna get that wowza kind of feeling. Just breathe into that, guys. Breathe into that nice stretch. Feel that release. And come back up. Okay, one end in each hand. Before I bicycle my right foot out, I'm gonna bicycle my left foot in, release my right foot out. All right, let's start with that two-way opposition stretch. So I'm gonna go down through the back of my left hip and really send that left heel up. And I'm feeling it to this side, wow. Feels so good through the back of the leg. Breathe into that stretch. And now transfer both ends of your band into your right hand. Extend your left arm out to the side, palm facing down. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, let's keep the left side of the hip down as we take the leg across the midline of the body. And up, it's amazing how one leg can feel so different from the other leg. And across. And up. And now we let that left hip and gently roll away from your mat. And I'm just kind of letting gravity in the band dictate where my leg goes. Really feeling that stretch. 
good guys, and then all the way back up. Release your foot from the band, just bring your band off to the side. Let's cross the right thigh completely over the left thigh. We did this one a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna nod my chin and curl up so that I can take an overhand reach of my shins right close to my ankles. And then I'm gonna roll back and I'm gonna flex my feet today. Take an inhale breath. As I exhale, it's like I'm pulling my feet out to the side as I'm pressing my thighs down towards my torso. Breathe into that stretch. And then release. Okay, we're gonna do the other way. Cross the left thigh completely over the right thigh. You don't have to curl up. I do it just so I can really reach for my shins. And then roll back down. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, I'm pulling my feet Heart out to the side and pressing my thighs down towards my torso. And I'm really feeling it in that hip, in that glute muscle. Breathing into the stretch. And releasing and uncrossing the legs. Okay, just fold your legs in towards your torso. Give them a little hug in there. And then release both arms out to the side. And let's let our legs just fall completely to the side. Any side you choose is fine, guys. Turn your head in the opposite direction, get a nice stretch. Breathe into that stretch. And then look straight up towards your ceiling and then just let the legs drift over to the other side. And then take your head over that opposite shoulder. your legs where they are guys look straight up towards your ceiling just kind of circle your arm over and then kind of crawl your way up sit facing your screens in your favorite neutral position good let's finish with one last big breath guys to send us on our way today take a nice big inhale breath go deep go big go deep go big let's hold this one for five four three two one, and completely exhale it through your mouth. Go big, complete exhale, and come back. Okay, guys, great job today. Um, thumbs up, we made it to week 15, and yeah, we're ready to go. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and be well. Mwah.